hunting, the modern legal method. Make sure it's tight so it doesn't fall off. The clove oil, two drops. Clove oil, hounds go mad for it. James Hello. takes us through preparing to lay the trail. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. And off he goes, uphill down dale, laying out the scent. Which means sometime later, the hounds and riders follow, occasionally lose and follow again the scent. Nothing gets killed, no law is broken. This, however, is a different story. From foxes be... buried alive underground in bags to drone footage capturing one being ripped apart to others being dug out and thrown to the hounds. This programme has been reporting crimes of illegal hunting such as this time and time again. You're horrified as well. We're horrified as well. It is not, that, that is not acceptable in any society in any way, shape or form. And I think that the, the record shows that they were dealt with very swiftly and very robustly. So 20 years of a fox hunting ban have meant 20 years of foxes being torn apart by hounds, which leaves those in charge of hunting with one fundamental question. Sitting as they may well be now in the Last Chance Saloon, can they get their own house in order, police hunting and make it legal? So the British Hounds Sports Association, the BHSA, is laying on events like this across the country to demonstrate what they say is really happening. Most hunts abiding by the law. But a Labour government may well agree with others who say trail hunting is often being used as a smokescreen for fox hunting. There's a, there's a chance that any government could say that um, in, in, in any way, shape or form. Uh, what, what we have to do, the challenge for us, is to demonstrate to the world and as you've seen today, that trail hunting is a legal, legitimate, well-regulated activity that, that does not need outside interference. The Hunting Act does what it was intended to do. The hunt saboteurs say self-regulation hasn't worked and they're not the only ones. There is no chance that any hunts are operating legally 100% you know, of the time. Uh, with trail hunting. It's a complete sham and fiction. Um, it's designed uh, to get around the law and that's not acceptable in this country. We don't do that. We don't continue with laws that are clearly failing. But when leading police officers also say that the law and trail hunting are just a smokescreen for illegal fox hunting, trail hunting has one very big problem. In 19 years we've learnt a lot since the ban came in uh, and still learning. So uh, we have adapted, uh, we've changed, we've still got people that are not doing us any favours. We appreciate that and we're trying to weed those out and deal with it. Can hunters then police hunting? But can the police police it either? Earlier this month we reported on the Warwickshire hunt, seen in this footage blocking the roads and stopping an ambulance, and how they'd cut a secret deal with Warwickshire police to avoid appearing in court. Since our broadcast, that deal has mysteriously disappeared. The force claimed the deal was temporary, but refused to produce any evidence to prove that when asked. Warwickshire police say they'll publish a code of conduct for trail hunting before the next season begins. Well, I think this is descending in terms of the level of farce. First, first of all, as you, you may know, that um, they wouldn't give me access. They still will not give me access to the protocol. It still remains secret. Uh, they're now suggesting that it was just a temporary thing uh, and they're withdrawing it. Uh, it's a complete nonsense. I, I just fear that they are making this up as they go along. I mean, it does really have a whiff of a cover-up. We put claims of a cover-up to Warwickshire Police, but they declined to comment. Recently, the Chief Constable wrote to Matt Weston about reports of alleged criminal activity by the hunt. The letter states... While some reports have been received from Warwickshire residents, in many cases the reports have been from third-party individuals from outside the county. We asked Warwickshire Police to explain why crime reports from someone outside the county matter less than people who live there. They refuse to do so. I mean, are they really suggesting that someone who is the victim of a road rage incident on the M40 who just happens to live in Oxfordshire uh, would not be able to use any dash cam footage and present it to Warwickshire Police. I mean, that's kind of how, how low this seems to be sinking. Criticism that hunters can't police hunting and the police won't police it hangs heavy in the air. With an election looming, the sound and fury from both sides of this argument 
will only intensify.